2010 Chevy Malibu. So the blower motor doesn't work, which in fact, it does not work. Um, let's go and figure out what is wrong with it. Now, if you're quoting this job is for this Malibu, this job kind of sucks. It's not as simple as slapping in an old or taking out the old, put it in a new. You got to do a whole bunch of other refitting and cutting and stuff. So I'll show you that here in a second. But for now, let's get to it. Where's it down here? one back here too it gets stuck but it just connects to this tube that's how you want to pull that out that brings us to our blower motor now with it on we're gonna go ahead and give it the oh and since this thing is all uh, green and crusty, and it's broken off. The plot just thickened. Let's try something. All right, I'm back. Now, what, what I want to try is just uh, connecting these two. Now, if you don't have a multimeter or whatnot, and you just go in and pull the trigger and order this part, which is the blower motor, and you want to know if it's the resistor or fuse or whatnot, obviously check the fuse first, but um, if you already have this part, just plug in the new one and give it a little life. Hmm, fishy thing is it doesn't work on one. Yeah, the uh, number one does not work. So like I said, the plot thickened. So let's figure this out. So really, it would be ideal to plug this in and back probe it. That would be the, I mean, really the best thing to do, but I don't do electrical, so I don't back probe this. I just want to see if there is current, which there's really not. Let me see, let's get right there. Here's number one. Here's two. And we max out with, with four. Here's. Here's four, three, two, one, nothing. I think we got a resistor problem also. I mean, the blower motor is 100% bad. We know that because we got, we are getting, we are getting power with this new blower motor. That we do know. There's a lot of, green crustiness down here. And we know we're not getting any power with one, two, three, four. There we have it. No one around here has a blower motor. Oh, I'm sorry, a resistor, which is located just right back here. It's one connector. You just push it back towards the firewall and pull it out. But um, I don't know. Maybe that is like that from the factory. I don't know. It's just a lot of electrical tape. It's a lot of green crusties. So I don't know, I don't know. We're just gonna go ahead and continue with this. So to get out this blower motor, which is a pain, again, you would just remove usually three or four bolts and move it. But instead we have to get a knife and cut all the way around here. You literally have to cut this one out.
Oh, that took a while. Just a little bit more. I'll show you what's actually holding it up. It's, it's absolutely ridiculous. So it's just adhesive, really strong adhesive. She is rusty. All right, out with the old, in with the new. So for these, we're gonna have to reuse this base over this one. So it's two seven millimeters. Put. Too crazy because it's just plastic. You don't want to crack the plastic. All right. Now we're still not done. So the new one comes with this little bracket right here. We're supposed to. We're supposed to line up. They only go one way. All right. So I figured it out. So there's these little notches right here. I'll sh show you. There we go. Little notches right there. I guess you just match those up with that. So yeah, pretty easy. And then it fits perfectly around the edge. Good for this bra uh, bracket and installing one in the car. They're 5.5 millimeters. So if you don't have that, you're gonna have to order this ahead of time. Hopefully you're not doing the job right now. Yeah, 5.5. Very small. How it should look. Now one more step. Now I got this foam seal that we have to put around this base right here. It gives you two of these. We're gonna try one because I'm not exactly sure what the other one's for. And in the directions, it doesn't mention there being two of these. So we'll just try the one, and if need be, we'll fix it later. Just want to butt it up against that black bracket right now. Okay. All right, let's put it in. Uh, it's really not much to show you because I have to be underneath here, but there's only one way this there's only one way the blower motor goes on. So you just have to line up the holes and then add them. There's two back there. So yeah, 
they, they supply you with just enough bolts for it in the kit. Um, even comes with directions, but since you watched my video, you already know how to do it. Um, there's no blower motor in this one. Uh, you just drop the glove box. They do give you, not blower motor, wow. Cabin air filter, they do give you an option for to add your own cabin air filter. You'll just have to cut out the plastic, buy a cap, put an air filter and a cap it. But again, that just shows you how much they really think of their cars here. Again, these are just throwaway cars. They knew it. That's why they're so problematic. Sorry for my rant, but it still doesn't work all the way. And we got flow. Maybe you can hear that. But yeah, it doesn't work on one. But all the other controls work. So when we get the resistor in, I'll come back and make a video on that. So like, subscribe, comment, and uh, see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.